So right in front of us, we have an integrated development environment. And of course, in this case, I have connected that to my GitHub repository, which holds all your code. And I have a vulnerable Python code right here. So you can see here, we have like command injection, SQL injection, unsafe deserialization, and so on and so forth. And if you see right at the bottom, we have done a git push origin main. So I've placed this into a repository. And what is super cool is this new launch called Code Security. If you see on the left side, there is a new inspector now supports code repository scanning. So Amazon Inspector is a vulnerability management service. And if I see and click onto the left side on a code security right here, and you can see that on the connect to, we can connect over into like GitLab self-managed or GitHub. So in our case, I have set a GitHub and I've set it up. So if you see right at the bottom, I have a code repository and I can go ahead and click over onto the code repository and we have scanned it. We have scanned a specific file or repository and we can see the vulnerabilities associated with it. So like, for example, in this situation, we have sensitive information leakage and we have, for example, print decode token token. So there is a JSON web token token that has or is going to be decoded. So of course, this is going to be logging sensitive information for print statements and so on. And at the same time, if you see on the other ones like a structured query language injection as well, code vulnerability, and it gives you the specific line where this vulnerability is uncovered or discovered. So you can see the vulnerability location and a recommendation on what you can do. So the code repository name in this case is test app main and a provider of course, GitHub code repository and so on. So this is very powerful. And before we continue and I show you how to set this up, let's go over into the architecture of things. And before we go any further in the architecture of things, put on your thinking cap. So in my case, I have an AWS cap. So this makes us an AWS engineer. <laughs> So on the left side of the architecture, you have your best friend forever, Script Kitty Loy, and he's very new to developing and writing code. So a lot of the code that is written is going to be vulnerable, and he will commit them over into the code repository. And what we want to do here is to be able to scan all of those code that are placed into the repository automatically using Amazon Inspector that will then be able to highlight for us like OS command injection, SQL injection, and so on and so forth that are placed inside the code before it gets pushed over into the actual application, which is then going to be, of course, targeted by your other best friend, Mr. Hackaloy, who will then be able to gain access to your application, your databases, and so on. So how can we set this up? It's really easy. What I can do here is in Amazon Inspector Code Security, I will go over into the integrations tab and I'll select over to the integration. I'll delete it first. So what we need to do now is go to the top right corner, click connect to. In this case, I'll select onto GitHub. And what I can click here is give an integration name. So I'll give it say hacker alloy is very handsome. And once I'm done with that, I'll click connect to GitHub. All right, so here, this is the part where I am already logged in to GitHub. So all I have to do is click onto the link here. Once I click onto that, you can see a green banner that says, go to GitHub connection page or click onto that. And there is a create configuration page. So we lift everything as default and it brings us over to the integration page. And I need to install a new application. So I'll go in and click onto that. It routes us over, install and authorize Amazon Inspector Singapore. So I'll select onto all repositories, install and authorize. So once that is done, I can head back over to the code scan page. So this is the part where we are at. And if you see onto the right side under integrations, right, you can see it is inspector actively synchronizing and monitoring projects. So this is something that is currently being in progress. So let's just give it a while and we'll be able to see it up and running very soon. So you can see right here, this is done. We can see the status now as active. This means that we're actively synchronizing and monitoring the projects. So once that is done, you head over to code repositories tab. You can see here, we have a specific project name and with the configuration being configured 
and it's an inactive scan because we had not yet made any changes to it that would trigger the code security scan. So let's go ahead and try that now. So going back to our integrated development environment, so I've made some changes here. So I've placed a SQL injection over into comments, or it can be any other new code that you're placing right in. All right, so this is just a demonstration of what's going on. So what I can do now is do a git at and a vulnerable Python code. Hit enter on that, so I'll do a git commit dash m. All right, so in this case, we are commenting on SQL injection as a demo. Hit enter on that. So once you're ready, just go ahead and enter git push origin main. Hit enter on this, and now you can see the following. We have now uploaded this over into our GitHub repository, and this is gonna get picked up in Amazon Inspector. So when I hit over into Amazon Inspector, I can do a refresh over here. So just give it a couple minutes for it to pick up the trigger and then we can see the change in a scan status. So you can see right here, there's a change to the scan status as active. And with that, there's a last scan as well a few seconds ago. So if I go over into findings, you can see that the past few seconds, we've identified the vulnerability within the code. So if I go over and select onto any of these findings, which were the ones that I've showed you earlier, you can see here, like again, the print decode and so on was picked up very quickly by Amazon Inspector. So give it a try and let me know how it goes.